beer's gone bad. Where the beer flows like wine. This is Scott Van Voet. And this is Pat Tugin. We're your hosts tonight. We're going back to the San Diego brew scene. Uh, Iron Fist, Iron Fist Brewing Company out of Vista, California. Going a little north. We are, uh, we're trying something called the Gauntlet tonight. We were introduced to this company inadvertently through a, a interview we did through, um... We did a quality social interview. No. Yeah. We did an interview with the Adam from Quality Social, and that's how we got turned on to Iron Fist, because Jordan did a full-on interview with... Oh my god, dude, I'm blanking on his name. I don't think it's Quality Social. It's not Quality Social. I'm sorry, it's Local Habit. Oh my god. Adam, I'm sorry. Local Habit <laughs> interview. Um, local Habit interview up in uh, Hillcrest. He had this on, on tap. The tap hand, by the way, is a fist like this. An iron fist like this. You want... Hand that up to the camera there. Oh, wow, it's so full. Uh, Iron Fist Brewery is a family-owned brewery that anybody, anybody basically you, in the San Diego region can have Iron Fist. Iron Fist is not cheap by the, any means. The guy we actually hired to uh, to film our our little uh, interview, which will actually be up on the, the website October eighth of Local Habit. His name's Jordan. Um, he, he did a part, or he did like a little piece with Iron Fist, and uh, he said it was a full family-run business. 100% family-run business. They were actually, they brewed more beer than they can handle, and they were bottling everything by hand. They can only bottle something stupid, like one bottle for every, like, you know, 30 seconds or something. And I heard the brewmaster is a young cat, like 22, and, he, and uh, he had talked all his family into leveraging everything to the hill in order to pursue this beer company. So, if you see it on the shelf and you're like, mmm, $6.99, it's a little too much, think about everything that they put in for it. Dude, $6.99, try more yeah, like $12.99. This beer, this 22 <laughs> costs $12.99. That's craft brew the freaking seams, dude. That thing is no joke. I want you to understand that we couldn't understand that craft beer companies are saucy little Fs, dude. These guys do not <laughs> play around. Every single explanation of their beer is a saucy explanation of who they are and why you should be drinking craft beer. On the bottle, on the back here, it says, wait for a second. Wait for it. Here it comes. If that sounds good to you, you can safely break your time on Earth into two separate categories. Two. The time before you tried the gauntlet and the time after you tried it. If not, that $5.50 pack is on your left. They're telling you basically, you know what? You're going to try this. You're going to flip your effing lid. And if you don't, no worries. Go back to your Bud Light. Have One a great of my time. favorite things is when we first uh, started researching the beer after we bought it um, online, it was all the gauntlet. If this is your first craft brew, don't do it. Put it back. <laughs> These will go somewhere else. Yeah, they told you to put it back because you're an amateur. Yeah, because it's... Because this is the real deal beer only. So I'm ready. Dude, I'm ready Scott, to have color. a real deal beer. Um, I'm color. excited for Iron Fist, honestly. I, I feel you too. Uh, Bud Light. One Bud Light. Couldn't be cloudier. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Ten Rasputin. Four and a half goes to Scott. I'm going to give it about a four and a half too. Because you know the color is actually light amber. But it's very murky. God. You can't see through this thing if you tried. The head on this thing is minimal to non-existent. But you know what? I'm not going to hold it to it. Yeah, again, we may not be drinking out of the right glass here either. What do we got? It, what, this is an imperial IPA. Okay. We probably should be taking this out of a snifter, but you know what? No okay. worries. We're okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Go. <laughs> kind of smells like feet. Kind of smells like feet right after that. <laughs> you saw that? Wow, it does actually smell like feet. That smells like sweaty gym socks. It doesn't smell great. Oh, it doesn't. But I have to say, I tasted this before you smelled it, and I think this is an amazingly smooth beer. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> Even though that initial, like, this smells like sweaty socks. Can you look at the lacing on the glass right here? I, I want to bring attention I love it. to the fact that the foam ring... Is actually hanging at the top of my glass. It hasn't even decided to even even take a little freaking jump. 
Call me. Scott, what question do you have? It's not much a question as it is a statement. Um, once again, we're sitting here in front of a beer that smells like sweaty gym socks. And we've been in front of beers that smell like... Damn it, that tastes uh, good. You know, your Woo! dorm room buddy's pot collection. But the smell of the beer is not necessarily a characteristic of the way the beer tastes. This beer is really oh my good. God. It doesn't smell great, but holy balls, it, it really comes across. I gotta very give nicely, you, dude. I think it's very well balanced. A cheers to Iron Fist, you guys. The smell, like Scott said, is kind of weird, but this thing is extremely drinkable. Oh my god! As an Imperial IPA, I'm expecting something extremely hoppy, straight in my face, big hop aromas. Like, let's check this thing out, and. The smell, dude, that thing, that smells sour. Like, it smells what you're getting. almost rotten. But you know what? I could be wrong, but what I feel like, what I feel like between what I'm tasting and what I'm smelling, I feel what I'm smelling instead of hops, instead of what we, we come to associate with IPA, is the yeast. We're really getting that wheat, and we're really getting the yeast out of the smell. And you know, it's like a Hefenweizen IPA, huh? And right off the bat, you come off and you smell it, and you're like, oh, it smells terrible. But then when you taste it, it makes sense. And then you taste the hops. And the hops are really well balanced with this beer. It's nothing crazy. Again, hops taste like pine trees. Yeast tastes like, what, what would you say? What did you just say the yeast and the, and the wheat taste like in this? Like a Hefeweizen, like any kind of wit beer you've ever had, yeast, yeast usually gives you that kind of soury kind of flavor to it. You know, it's amazing though. Like, you drink this thing, like I'm smelling right now. Just do it with me here. Not, dude, oh, nothing appealing. It kind of smells smell freaking funky, all. actually. And then you taste it. It's smooth. It's full-bodied. Like, dude, this thing's no joke. Like, this thing's got some serious flavor to it. Let's Iron Fist, you know what? Pat, let's just rank the Nana. Where are you going to put it? I'm going to put this beer. This thing is freaking tasty, dude. I'm going to put this in eight and a half. The smell at about two, but the, the taste at an eight and a half. Like this thing is, this is a, a wonderful beer. This is just an homage <clears throat> to craft beering and people that, you know what? Even though you're a family brew, you guys do a great freaking job. And I would seriously give you a high five if you were here in the room with me. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I like it a lot, but I'm going to put it at about seven, a solid seven. You give it an eight and a half and that's awesome. For and what reason? For the reason that there is a little bit of bitterness that lingers and that bite and I don't think that it's necessarily perfectly balanced. So although it tastes really well and I like the malt, I like the yeast, I like the hops, but I'm still getting that really kind of like, ooh, sour, bitter taste right off the bat and that's like almost overwhelming the, the other flavors that are there which are amazing. It's, it's a well flavored beer but it's kind of overwhelming that. And then that flavor lingers for me. Because of that, I'm going to have to drop it down to a 7. That's okay, though, you know? And that's why we're here. Iron Fist, you guys did a great freaking job. I'm Absolutely. so glad you're on the scene right now. Big old knuckle bump to you guys, dude. Through yeah, the camera. Yeah, we didn't take it. Um, Craft Brew is a great movement right now. Keep it up. Support your local brewery. Support your local craft brew scene. Buy local. Buy local craft brews. Thanks for checking in. We are the Beers Come Back. Where the beer flows like wine. We will see you next time, and you know what? Go out and explore. Next time you see a, a freaking domestic beer in your thing, on run. say no and move to the right. Grab something else. Explore. Yeah. Say yes to your craft brew. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a good night.